Hey everyone, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video I've actually never done on this channel before. I am doing a art haul, so like an art supplies haul, and then afterwards it's going to be kind of like a vlog. I am very sorry if you can hear my guinea pigs squeaking in the background or other background noises. This is the quietest room in my apartment. You kind of can take what I give you my rooms aren't very quiet here so I'm trying to keep the quietest one. I have a lot of art stuff, mainly stuff that I ordered for school. So I have a lot of workshops that I have to do for my graphic design program at school. So I had to order a few things to be able to do the things that I want to do. It was cheaper on Amazon to order everything than it was to go to Michael's. I did go to Michael's today and got a couple things but not too much because it's so expensive there. So yeah, super heavy. I have two huge boxes and then a bag from my cool so i'm just gonna show you what i got and then we're just gonna do a vlog kind of showing you what i'm doing just to make this video a little bit more exciting i guess so here's the bag um there's only a couple things in here and the guinea pigs are gonna start squeaking because they think it's treats all right so this was like a dollar that's why i picked this up because i was actually just gonna use like a paper plate for my paint but this was like a dollar or two this is the 10 well-rounded plastic like paint palette it's just a normal paint palette you put paints on you can use clean it reuse it and then the only other thing that i got uh paint wise was these windsor and newton um acrylic titanium white paint i got a big bottle of white paint because i know i'm going to use a lot of white mixing colors and making other shades and stuff so that's why i just got white because i have other paint in one of these packages then i got this art bin um i got one of the biggest ones because i want to be able to put all my paint and paint brushes and like art stuff in just one container and be able to carry it around if I need to. So I got the biggest one. It was pretty expensive, but I did have a coupon, so it wasn't as bad. It's like $20, but I had a 40% off coupon, so it wasn't too bad. But it opens up and then you can put stuff in it. So I just got that to make it a little bit easier to hold all my things in because I don't have a lot of storage here at this apartment. So I kind of just have things everywhere. So I need to try to keep my art stuff as organized as I can. All right, so I'm gonna open this first box. It is super heavy. Um, I ordered quite a few things. So I think they just put them all in these big boxes together. Wow, half the weight of this box is this. Holy crap. <laughs> this is super heavy this box was incredibly heavy and it's because of this paper so i got this cardstock this is the 8.5 by 11 cardstock that you can use with laser inkjet and copier printers i don't know how many pages this is i don't remember how many it was supposed to be but it is a lot it doesn't say i think it's like a thousand i don't know but this boy is thick and I needed a cardstock to make my color study. I'm doing like a color study where like the backing has to be cardstock, but I also wanna use cardstock because I'm gonna try to make like these business card type things and I wanna try to use cardstock with it because I know it's pretty heavy duty. Oh, sorry, it's not a thousand. It says it at the bottom right here. It is 300 sheets. It just feels like a thousand because it's so heavy. And then I have... Oh my god they're so loud the so next i have this elmer's craft bond extra strength glue sticks these are the permanent bond glue stick um i need these to be able to glue things onto my color study board so i got a four pack it's the only thing that came in and these are the clear ones then i got this pack of brushes when i was at michael's they had a lot of brush sets but they didn't seem like really good quality so i didn't grab any more but this is royal lang nickel I don't know if that's the brand name, but it is a brush set. And I'll show you what they look like. All right, well, I'm not gonna show you them right now because I can't get them out, but basically we have like a long one and then a, like little detail brushes, but that's what it said that I needed. So that's what I got. Eventually I'll probably get more. And then I got these like plastic jars to put paint in. Um, a lot of people use them actually for like cosmetic purposes, but I got them for paint. And this came in like a 20 pack and I saw the ones at Michael's for, it was like three of them for like $15. And this was like $5 for like 10 of them. The guinea pigs are running around so much right now. It is the cutest thing I have ever seen. So it's just these little like jars that I can put paint in and use it to have paint. And I can use it for other things too, but it comes in this blue color, purple, pink, and white. So that was the first box. I pretty much that whole box was just like the cardstock. <laughs> and this box is not as heavy as that one. This one is probably gonna be the one that has the paint in it. Okay, 
So the first thing at the top, we've got this little thing of scotch tape. This is the um, removable scotch tape. So this is really good when you're painting to make really straight lines because you can paint over the tape and then pull the tape off and it leaves you with pretty crisp straight lines. Then I got these, the set of palette knives. Um, these are actually metal ones as well. It was in a pack and it was a lot cheaper than just getting like one from Michaels. So I honestly don't really know what these are used for. I'm gonna have to do more research on it, but it said I needed it in the materials list for my workshop. So that's why I got them. I've seen people use them before, but I'm not like 100% sure what they're used for. And then I got this marker pad of high quality bleed proof marker paper. So this is the type of paper you use with the like paint and then you make like collages with it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using this paper to make collages onto the cardstock. So hopefully it works out pretty good. Um, this wasn't the brand that the school recommended, but this was the cheaper alternative with good reviews. So hopefully it works out well. Then right here, I've got a little pink portfolio thing that I grabbed. When I went to Michael's, I tried to look at bigger portfolios and I just didn't like the way they look. So hopefully I'll be able to find like a big one eventually. But for right now, I just got this one. So this comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, it has 40 pockets. I just got the pink one because I love the color pink, of course but it has the like sheets right here where you can put your work inside of it. So if you're trying to make like a little portfolio and then you'd be able to, so you can slip your work into here and then you have like 40 pages worth of a portfolio. So this one's a pretty simple one. This is kind of more like a display book, but I'm gonna put like stickers and stuff on the front to make it a little bit cuter. And eventually I'll get like a bigger portfolio that I can carry around and I'll just put this inside of it. And then the last thing is my paint, of course. So this is gouache paint and I couldn't find gouache paint at Michael's. So that's why I got this white acrylic because I'm not sure like if it's the same thing. And I know it's not, I know it has different consistencies but I could not find gouache at Michael's at all. This is a 36 colors set and it came in all of the colors colors that was recommended for my schoolwork. So they recommended like name brands and I just couldn't find the right colors in those online. So I got the US art supply brand and there's a color wheel included. <laughs> wow, this is nice. So we got a little color wheel at the top right here and then we have this section. So these are 18 milliliter bottles. So I don't know how long they're gonna last, but they're gonna last me enough to do this project, so. And then we have one more. My food from Chili's was just delivered, so I need to go eat. But here is the next layer, and then there's actually one more layer of paint, which is so cool. So it comes with so many different colors, and it really wasn't too expensive. I think it was like $30 for all of them. So I think that's a really great price. Um, especially for me just like getting started with gouache paint because I'm not a painter. I'm more of a digital artist. <laughs> so um, working with different mediums is going to be really fun for me. But I'm going to go eat and then whenever I want to get started with my art project, I will be vlogging it for you guys. So I will see you in a second. Hey guys, it's been a couple days since I filmed the first part of the video and I have been doing some stuff for school. So I didn't film the first part of it just because it wasn't really entertaining or anything. But I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. So I have all my paints out right here. And it has been amazing. I really like gouache paint. I like that it dries super fast, but you can reactivate it with water. So it just makes painting so much easier. I don't know why I've never done it before. For the first project, I had to use like, um, like earthy tone chromatic grays. So I had to do nine shapes and then I had to paint them all in different colors. And then I had to have a background color that was also kind of a chromatic gray. So then I have to cut these out and glue them onto this cardstock in a bunch of different ways. So that is the first one. And the second one is the similar concept, except I had to use colors that were similar in like, they're more like similar in values. So I got, I did like more pastel-y colors. So those are the shapes I did for that. And then this is the background color I did for that. So basically what I'm about to do is cut out all of these shapes and then create like a little collage on my <laughs> cardstock here. Cardstock is of course bending when adding the paint to it, but it bends back pretty easily.
So here is the first one. I was kind of going for like more landscapey type things. So we've got the clouds and then it looks like the sun. And then this one's more just shapes, but I got like mountains and then like maybe a rainbow or a bridge or something. And then like the sun and some clouds. And I don't know, this one's more just shapes. I like them. I think they look pretty cool. I didn't show you guys what I did, but I used some, let me cover up my student ID, but I put some stickers on the front of my portfolio right here and then I also put my student ID up there and then I made swatches of the paint and then I also printed out a grayscale right there because it told me I needed to so now I'm going to put these in my little portfolio. Okay, so I put them in there like that together. I don't know if you're supposed to like put them in where it shows this way, but I put them in where it shows that way. So like if you're just going like this, it's like there. So I don't know, but I just went ahead and put it in there. And then I also decorated the outside of my little folder thing. Hey, so I just put stickers on that as well just to decorate it a little bit. 